What's up guys, welcome back to a new one. I just wanted to share a huge revelation that I got. Like you guys know recently that I've decided to surrender everything to archive my school community, to just let everything go and you know, get right with the Lord, make him the center of my life and truly surrender. However, I did for the first two days make a grave mistake that just led to a lot of anxiety, spiritual attacks, and just deception. Essentially just not surrendering in the right way, right? When I saw that Christ said that we need to die so that he could live, and when Paul said that we must be less so God could be more, it doesn't mean erasing your desires, your will entirely, but surrendering them to him. And a few of you guys know, I used to be into new age spirituality before I came to Christ. It's a lot of deception, opens the door to a lot of demons, but at the same time, it allowed for an easier transition in terms of the, the spiritual elements of our faith and to be guided by the Holy Spirit, right? But one teaching that I accidentally brought and that the Lord really had to convict me of and break away from me was being an empty vessel. We're not called to be empty vessels. God in his original design for us did create us in flesh. However, it was corrupted by sin. And so our way of truly living for God while balancing the fact that we are human beings with our own needs, desires, you know, we're not called to be monks. All of us aren't called to be monks. But the way to do that is about denying those those parts of us, that flesh that that wants to 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 oppose God, that wants to rebel, right? That is what the Lord revealed to me is really denying your flesh. Not so much erasing it completely and erasing our individuality, but rather accepting, building our identity in Christ while denying ourselves and not living for the world, not being driven by our ego, by our fleshly desires, but rather surrendering it to him, trusting in his timing. And it's like, my issue was I didn't trust. I didn't, I didn't trust. I had to really learn from Matthew 6 to not worry. You know, the birds, the flowers are clothed and provided for without working. And my job as a Christian is to just seek him first, prioritize my relationship with him and live righteously. That's it. As soon as I was able to do that, everything just got so easy. Like, I just feel more at peace. I'm able to be guided and, you know, deny the fleshy parts that wants to, of myself, that just wants to do its own thing, right? I want that deep down our soul yearns to, to live for God, to develop that relationship with him. All human beings, except few come to the truth. And even if you do find Christ, a lot of us are, not me, but a lot of us are stuck in, in religion or just not following, denying ourselves and living for Christ the way that the Bible tells us to, not, not the church, not religions, right? I don't mean to create religious controversy, but that's just what the Lord has revealed to me, right? So we are distinct human beings. That's important to keep in mind, but just to continuously surrender to him, to trust in his timing, and our soul yearns for that connection and to live for him. It's just, in my experience, my flesh was not trusting and just wanted to do its own thing. Um, and that just led me to a path of sin and not living the right way. So I encourage you guys to stay in prayer in, in in reflection and pray for discernment to know where God wants you to go, right? If you have certain goals, don't be cocky enough to be like, nah, I got to ignore that. I got to ignore that and put those off completely because I'm seeking God. I'm in a waiting season. That is not biblical. Don't be arrogant enough to assume that those are your own desires and your own goals. Like the Lord has put them on your heart, but you just need to be humble enough to surrender them, to not pursue them in your own timing. And I'm speaking to myself heavily here, but that's just the truth, to not pursue them in your own timing, but to surrender them to him and really not take him off the pedestal. It really has to be God first above all areas of our lives. Like nothing else can get in the way. And it's more so a balance of denying ourselves, but also having our own goals, purpose, and individuality as human beings, right? I, like a big thing that this reflection brought me to is that we were originally made with flesh, but sin corrupted it. So we are supposed to have our flesh. It's not inherently evil, 
we are corrupted by sin. So it's a constant process of not giving into that sin, of living righteously, seeking him first, and being Holy Spirit led. That is the biggest insight above all that this all comes back to. It's it's about not living in sin, about denying those desires and living according to God's will. And it's not something we can do in our own minds and our own strength, but by his guidance. So keep praying for guidance, keep praying for wisdom. God does have a purpose for you and it's important to carry it out in your identity rooted in Christ with your own individuality. So it's a balance and it's definitely a lot harder for our limited human minds to grasp. That's why we must be Holy Spirit led. These two things don't contradict each other. It's not, okay, am I just going to ignore a human being and be led only by the flesh and like not be able to survive in this world? Or am I gonna give in to those desires? Like, no, it's more so a balance of self-denial, surrendering and trusting in his time. So hopefully this message was able to, to, um, to edify you guys, to encourage you guys. I know it's a, it's a big learning lesson that I had to go through because I would always rely on myself, lack trust and you know, inadvertently turn the callings that God gave me into ego driven pursuits, which obviously led me back to sin. And now I'm learning to be more trusting to fully just eliminate fear, live for him, put him at the center of my life and everything that comes after his purpose for me, his refining of my character and being rooted, like building my identity in Christ are just extensions of that and come naturally, not by my own strength, but by his spirit. So God bless you guys and see you in the next one.